up there. Lovely. Oh, Outpost 31 North, for all you Thing fans. Up hanging out in the Fortress of Solitude. I think we found uh, we found Clark Kent's avatar. Sorry, sorry. All right, we can go ahead and fire up this meeting and talk about the return of online, <laughs> offline offers. Let me go ahead and just post the link. <laughs> so without much delay, um, you can now accept and decline offline friendship and group member offers again. Uh, when a recipient isn't online, offers are stored for later retrieval. Uh, their number and duration of storage is subject to certain limits. Um, but it is important to note that when you send a friend request, uh, the recipient will have 24 hours or until the region that they are arrived in uh, and when they received the notification uh, restart. So uh, whichever one happens first. So uh, give you a quick walkthrough. Let's say you log in to you know your normal region and you have a notification pending friend request um, you have until 24 hours to accept that or if the region happens to restart um, that data will be lost and they'll have to resend but read the blog for more and we're happy this functionality is back um, so woohoo Yeah, I know a lot of us miss that, especially the Yeah, uh, Clark, I don't groups. think there's any delay in resending. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, especially if you're both online, you can definitely get it done. This was affecting mostly, mostly the offlines. Uh, I haven't seen that. If you leave the region with the notification because the notification was sent to the region, um, I think that might be treated the same as if the region restarted because now your information is being passed over to a new region and that information does not contain the friend request because that request was sent to the region that you were originally on. So in theory, I think you might have to resend that request. I'll probably go ahead and test this after the meeting just to be sure. But knowing that the information is sent to the region uh, when you first teleport in from being offline if you just happen to leave i think that information would be lost because it's just in that region that's also true can't get offline if you don't go offline people go offline now you tell me No news yet, Adam. Um, as soon as we know, you'll know. And I wouldn't be surprised if it'll be coming very soon, TM. Um, so keep your ears out. Keep an eye on the blog. The same answer applies to um, SL Mobile. Um, no news on that just yet. Um, hopefully soon. We'll see. Trust me, I would dearly love to break such news. 
I think Patch would have my hide, though. And I like Patch. I do not have one, Leah. I'm so sorry. I wish I did. As a, a diehard iPhone and iPad user, I dearly, dearly would love it myself, too. So when there's info, it'll be out there. I've seen you do that, Adam. What happens when you do that? It goes to VIX. <laughs> I did want to bring up, um, I don't know if anyone's been watching, we've been doing a series of um, Second Life University videos um, and, and related materials. Our third one is out now. Uh, this time uh, it's focused on a topic that's fairly near and dear to my heart, which is inventory and inventory management. Um, you can actually watch the video with Alexa Linden at that YouTube address. And if you prefer a more conventional way of just reading on the web and so forth for inventory management and a whole number of additional tips, tips uh, you can find that as well on our blog at that address right there. There's a whole bunch of really useful ideas there. I actually had been writing up some stuff on it. I was very jealous to see that come out. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, speaking just from a support perspective, um, inventory issues are one of the biggest things we assist on. Um, it's up there with restarting regions and um, dealing with login issues. They're very common for our experience. Um, we can usually help you find missing items um, and deal with other inventory related troubles, but you know, I always pre preach prevention. It's far better than having to come from us, come to us in a panic because you can't find your items. So I really recommend taking a look at that and uh, giving some of those tips in there a try because I guarantee they will make it a lot easier on you. Yes, don't wait until your inventory will absolutely not load to take preventative measures. Yeah, you we don't want to, want to that do that. Thing loading properly. You know, Make sure you have uh, everything organized, and um, we actually have a knowledge base that talks about a lot of these top points here. There's some good tips in there, um, some kind of quality of life assurances, uh, such as looking for duplicates of items that you have, uh, just one less item that the viewer has to load, um, and it can load others. Um, so you want to make sure, when you have a chance, go through there. Um, things that you probably going to be familiar with. You've been on Second Life a while. Um, but they're just good habits to have. Um, make sure that your inventory is loading, that you have a good idea of the items in your inventory in case something goes missing, um, then you can let us know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like maintaining it before it becomes a problem, um, making sure it doesn't become too flat. You have proper organizational techniques. You have subfolders, um, renaming folders to something more unique will also help. Um, that way you can uh, quickly search. Um, so there's a number of ways, and they're not all listed there. Sometimes you have your own that you kind of follow. Sure, you can keep that clean as well. If you're not using them, it's just one more item that's going to be loaded. And I know especially in, probably in your case, Torek, and anyone who's been around for a longer period than normal period of time, several years in Second Life, there actually had been a glitch in the past where there was, um, where calling cards were being duplicated. So you might end up with like five, six, seven, etc. of the same person, and you really don't need those dupes at all. I've, I've dealt with that. Where and no I cards are another one. In my inventory, you know how you have your... Um, Textures, yep. 
Your Sometimes you're just fiddling with texture, you create a new one, or shapes also. I'm very guilty of having, I think at one point I had up like 50 of the same shape. Every time I go in there, I would tinker a little bit with it, and then I would save it. And then when I open the folder, I would have 50 shapes, and every time I would say new, 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 new. <laughs> and then I had trouble loading it. I'm like, okay, so time to purge some of these. I have so shapes was that you, that I heard yeah. talking? Yes, you, go ahead. You know how you have your, um, when you open your inventory, you have your default categories. You know, your calling cards, your notices, your you know, your sound bites, your whatever, those are automatically default folders. I mm -hmm. have two that say calling cards. I don't know how I got that, but I have two that say calling cards. That is a glitch that comes up every so often, and we can actually help with that. Um, yes. You can contact us. Uh, probably the best bet on, on a calling card issue is to go ahead and put in a support ticket, and uh, we can get that We can get that zapped for you and get you back. It's not going to cause you a lot of problems, folders? but yeah. Yeah, it's not really bothering me. I was just like, I don't, I, I don't know where it came from. This is there. Yeah, it it does happen every so often. It's a rare glitch, but um, you know, it's not critical. But drop us a a support ticket. We'll take care of it. You know, that way at least it's taken care of. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, if it's a uh, system folder, you're not going to be able to remove it. Uh, definitely just put it in a ticket. Um, if you like, you can provide a screenshot as well. But that's something that we can take care of. Any other questions or... Anything on the inventory? Yeah. Or, or I, I still don't follow that. What do I actually lose by deleting the calling cards? I won't delete my friends, will it? No, no. Um, you won't really lose anything because they'll repopulate when you relog. Right, and it'll only be the it only be my current friends, not people I've deleted. They won't right, come back. Right. When you, when you delete a friend, uh, their calling card goes to your trash, so it won't be in your calling cards folder anyway. So what is the purpose that it actually serves? That's what I'm struggling with. What does it actually do? I would um, how can I best put it? They were of more use many, many years ago, and they remain uh, to this day, but they're not as useful as they may have been in the past. Good enough for me. I'll delete them. There you you can go. use them to start conferences as well. Yeah, you can use them for starting conference chats, that kind of thing. I use but, them to um, start conferences. I also use them to see... People that may not be on my friends list now, but I have ran into into the past um, that I actually come by and I'll look in my inventory to see how long it's been since I was, was uh, in contact with them. And also see if people so change their name. You can also do that in your chat log there, can't you? I do that if I see somebody say, oh, how are you? I open up their IMs and I last spoke to them. So. Yeah, but if you... Uh, for me, because I've been through like four computers since I've been on Second Life, some of those chat logs are not there anymore because I don't... Oh, I am with you. Yeah. Okay. But the calling card does. <clears throat> Adam, I would say yes. We can't guarantee that we'll get some of that functionality uh, back up and working. Uh, especially if the creators are gone, that kind of nixes the idea of a redelivery. Um, but we can at least try. Yeah. Is it an open floor to ask any question right now? Or no? Sure. Why not? What's Go an event it. sim? I heard something about event sims. Uh, event Sims. Event Sims are actually a brand new product um, that we have just released in the last uh, couple of weeks. It's a specific type of region um, with a number of different features that you don't normally have um, in the standard regions. Let me pull up the information for you. Oh, I just put it in also. Ah, perfect, perfect. Quicker fingers than me today. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, 
they essentially have a, a much higher uh, cap of the amount of people who can be in the region. Uh, it caps at 175 as opposed to 100. Uh, there's a number of other features like extended chat ranges and uh, higher service amounts and instancing, things like this that we don't offer otherwise. Yeah, we're also advertising that script performance is 20% better here. So this is a, a special um, type of region. Obviously, you know what the name, um, but there's definitely some, some real tangible benefits if you have a, uh, a big gathering, an event, um, a meeting somewhere that you um, kind of want the, let's say, the best of the best as far as overall performance um, and functionality, uh, definitely take a look at the event region. Now, could I have one of those as a skilled gaming region? I'm not sure if it's available for skilled gaming. Um, you can file a support ticket, and we can see if we can get that answered. All right. Thanks. What do you think? Are Speaking you, uh, of events, we do have one coming up that I wanted to touch on, which is SL19B, which is our uh, 19th anniversary. Uh, the theme this year is Steampunk. Uh, the event will be running from June 16th to July 5th. Um, it will have all the usual uh, regions and shop and hop and everything else. Um, Everyone's currently in the middle of setup. I've had the pleasure of looking at some of it so far. It looks like it's going to be quite amazing in there. So just wanted to put a word out for that because that's going to be a lot of fun this coming month. That's a nice feature request, Neon. Thank you for sharing. Believe it or not, I did not have a hand in the theme. Um, <laughs> Lies. It, it was not my doing. It was a total surprise to me. Um, so, you know, perhaps a pleasant one, although I tend more towards other so forms of punk style, but I tend to be more of a steampunk looking here. So just because I like this designer a lot. Dr. Griffith, I will have to agree. Uh, script performance since we've uh, completed uh, the move to AWS has been very impressive um, overall, just like across the board. Um, I think we are very happy with the results that we've seen so far. And uh, I think feedback from residents has also been very positive. Wouldn't you agree, Wendy? I think a lot of people come back and say, yeah, they see some improvements. Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, I've heard that as well, and I've certainly seen it myself. Um, and we've still, you know, since we got them a year and five months ago, give or take, um, we've been doing a lot of behind-the-scenes improvements to make the move even quicker. You know, maybe even some stuff coming up uh, that I can't say too much about that will even improve it a little bit further. So, uh, You're just teasing them now. <laughs> I am, I am. Yep, my region hasn't crashed since. Thank you so much. <laughs> Torque, uh, as far as we know, it's a kind of a unique configuration uh, that we can present the event regions on. I don't think they're affecting non-event regions um, to boost their performance. Yeah, I don't. I, I wouldn't. Okay. That. that would be kind of like a like a bad thing. You, but you I just wanted like to make. I just wanted an assurance that they weren't going to do it at the cost of us people paying. No, yeah, for no. yeah. We probably we wouldn't want to do that. You'd be able to enjoy your region, but like if you wanted to kind of rent or lease a a special region, uh, you had something big coming up. Um, this would be that kind of uh, uh, thing you want to look at. Yeah, but like, like Neo says, you don't need it 24-7. So you can turn it on for a weekend and then turn it off afterwards without $100 you know, each side for, for an admin cost. It would make it much more sellable, wouldn't it? Perhaps. I mean, certainly, you know, events are things, too, that don't necessarily run for a whole month. So who knows?
Oh, and that's another thing. Um, has anyone seen the new Linden homes that are out? We just put out the Sakura Linden homes, which have a uh, kind of a modern take on Asian homes. Um, also, just like the new bricks, they have uh, 512 and 1024 styles. Um, they're really, I mean, these are probably one of my faves so far. Um, there's a couple of others I really, really liked, but these, the region work that the moles did on this is extremely pretty. Um, there's a community meeting space in the Shobu region, S-H-O-B-U, um, that I would really recommend checking out. We've been doing little community meeting spaces for all of these, but this one is just, this, it's really lovely and peaceful garden spaces. Um, you can look out on the, the peak of Mount Soji, which is a four region area. Um, really, really worth checking out. Oh, and uh, also for a bit of fun, there's a, a promotional video that the Linden Department of Public Works put together. Um, you have to see a... the skit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you got the, the link handy, Vix? Yep, already posted. Cool, cool. I prefer to receive new information via Saturday Night Live inspired skits. Yeah, just yeah. Them better. That was definitely one of them. <laughs> Any questions on that or, or other other issues? Please feel free to jump on in. Yeah, we'll also uh, fully open the floor to questions. I haven't heard anything about the deletion of any uh, previous uh, Linden home regions yet, Profki. Yeah, I have, I have uh, an answer on that. It's going to sound, unfortunately, a little vague, but it is actually a vague situation. We will probably eventually uh, take down some of the old uh, the Nascara homes, um, the first-generation Linden homes, but there are people that still like them and still use them regularly, so we don't want to force anyone off of them right. um, and I know that uh, Patch has also made it clear um, that there's a lot of material on there that he wants to try to save find a new home for there's little spaces that are in between the themes and so forth so I suspect that yeah eventually we'll start to see some of those go away but it's not a we're, this is the date that you all have to move or anything like that. We really don't want to do it that way. We know that that's a, a painful thing, especially if you really love your first-generation Linden home. Um, why should we stand in your way? So eventually, yes, probably, but at least right now, no. There's not, there's not any immediate plans. I know that sounds a little vague, and I apologize, but it is what it is. Yeah, and, you know, again, there's there's some that probably don't have anyone in them, and, you know, maybe there'll be some changes there. But for the time being, now nah, we're going to keep them for now. We'll see what happens down the line, at least not this month. <laughs> well, we don't have classes toothless um, well, anymore, um, so pretty much all of the grid is maintained um, for, you know, optimal performance. Um, it's more of what Wendy touched on. Yeah, there, we still have a lot of residents who are enjoying the previous homes, so we don't want to mess with that. You know, while we're building out new communities with newer style homes, it does attract a lot of attention. You know, some still prefer the uh, the old ways, and yeah, we're perfectly good with that. Aloha. Uh, my name is Sam Kennedy, and I have been elected by the General Assembly of Anacorodentia to speak on behalf of our community to you at this meeting. Welcome. Uh, uh, because there is no governance meeting, bringing our concerns to this meeting is the only option for reaching out to someone who could help resolve our, our issues. We started our community on the mainland over a year ago and have been the target of constant harassment and grief from bad actors who look to intimidate and harm the protected groups for whom we provide services. We constantly are filing abuse reports to governance via the abuse report system within the viewer, but to date we have yet to receive any form of aid when we request it. We've only gotten lucky with these people getting bored and moving on. Uh, 
I am not here to speak about a specific case of abuse, but I am here to strongly request that something be done about this. We pay at least $600 to your company every month in premium fees and land tier fees, but we are forced to sit there and endure hateful users on this platform targeting us for attempting to make a safe place for others. We are advocating for a better process to handle abuse reports other than screaming into the void and praying that th we have enough people in our community filing abuse reports against these bad actors to get your attention. I know that your policy dictates that you are unable to comment on specific cases under most circumstances, but it has gotten to the point where we are certain most abuse reports are sitting in a ticket system somewhere left unattended for mo months at a time. Thank you for your time. For the sake of giving you text to refer to as you reply to me, I will post what I just said to you in local chat. Sounds like you got a lend uh, governance lending right here. I'll be willing to help you in uh, high end. Yeah, I would say that was well-spoken, Sam, and thank you for uh, bringing up your concerns. Absolutely. Well, I know they're still uh, looking at ways to bring it back, uh, Profiki, so it's something that's, that's definitely still on their mind. Uh, they just kind of haven't figured out the right way to bring it back yet. What do you mean, Neil? Do you mean like uh, um, coming soon, Wasteland Linden Homes? Toothless, that would be a good idea, but um, all of the mainland is um, uh, maintained by us. Uh, so providing you a restart button, yeah, I don't see that um, in the works. But you are welcome to submit a, a feature request if you'd like to kind of summarize your idea. That's definitely something with well within the private region realm of ownership. Uh, if you're familiar with that, uh, you have um, full control, creativity, and access over the private region, and you do have the button both in world and uh, through your dashboard as the region owner to control when you're doing the restarts. Uh, we still also do uh, scheduled restarts um, when we're doing work, uh, but you also have the ability to control that as far as your own restarting. Like if you like to set your own schedule, like uh, a lot of owners will set like a daily or every other day schedule just to keep the uh, stored memory fresh.
Yeah, to just throw it out there, we're also happy to do the restarts. Um, you know, part of our job is uh, region performance. Actually, it's a big part. So if there's any a re any time a region that you found is a little slow, laggy, uh, things aren't resing properly, um, doesn't matter your, uh, if you're a premium or a uh, base resident, you can reach out to us through uh, your support dashboard, and we'll definitely come take a look. And those receive a higher priority because we want to keep those going. For what it's worth, and I'll just, you know, I think that, you know, I agree, and that's part of the reason that we are fairly careful with the the themes that we do do. Um, aside from a couple of them, we've tried to stay fairly, um, this is a home, this is a home style, rather than get very, this is London, or this is Wastelands, or this is any other already existing and established community. Um, I would like to think that we're aware of that, and we are careful with that in the choices that we that we make with our Linden homes. So uh, we try, we try to be careful.
Profsky, I might have to preface it that we are unable to interpret uh, any of our terms of service, uh, rather good to Second Life or Tilly Up. Um, yeah, just I don't want you to have like a yeah question and we we just kind of uh, stonewall it. We we just uh, support are unable to interpret any of the terms here. But we do have a fact page, so based on your question, I think the fact page may or may not be able to help you. That would definitely be something, Sind. Um, I suspect that the larger landowners probably already have their continents um, and already grow it uh, in the ways they want to. So I really don't know if that would add to it. But who knows? It's an interesting idea. That would be interesting, Sen. By the way, feel free if you have a question or comment or concern, uh, feel free to put them right out there. Love to see them. Yeah, great discussion today, guys. Ooh, big fun projects that we haven't talked about, like SLB 19. I think that's the biggest uh, event coming up. Yeah, I'd say SL19B is big. the biggest yeah. right now. Yeah, we always um, pull out the stops in Second Life Birthdays. Yeah, the moles have been doing a lot of work on, on stuff for that. There will most definitely be some form of swag. I'm not sure if it will be swag oh, yeah. in later, oh, yeah. but there will be stuff. Um, you know, and yeah, Shop and Hop will be back. And, you know, there's uh, a number of resident regions that are already being built up. And, uh, yeah, Torek, I can't believe that we're already up to 19. I remember three, four, five, you know, way back there. And it just doesn't seem it's like 19 already. It's just wild. Still waiting for our clothes to raise. It's 19, is it? should know this but what's the start date for the uh, SL19 exhibition? Uh, June 16th. Less than That's a month That's quite good because we have Her Majesty's uh, Jubilee has 70 years
on the toilet on the throne rather uh, on the 2nd of June so that's good nice yeah she'll have plenty of time to get to SL19B after after the Jubilee and they'll run have a four day jets, public so holiday is celebration Do we know if there's a Vivox issue with it connecting and disconnecting? There is, or, or was, it should be resolved at this point. There was an issue um, recently with, um, like, parcels on a region. Um, if they had uh, both restricted checked as well as, um, uh, like, a non alphanumeric characters in the name of the parcel, uh, you would sometimes see some disconnect issues, but unchecking or removing those characters would resolve it. That should, however, be fixed um, by a couple of weeks. Still ago. sort of clicking on and off, though. At this afternoon, it was, well, about four hours ago, it was really bad, but it's, it's done it a couple of times here. Yeah. I'd say it's worth, uh, worth poking us on it. Let's take a look around there and see if we can find if there's still an issue. Hey, Toothless, we haven't heard any plans to make any changes to, uh, to Vivox. But looking at the data, this whole meeting has been great ideas and, and good ideas that you guys come up with. Um, everyone knows how to submit a feature request just to get your idea in place. And I would also add on, on VVEX versus High Fidelity Voice that we do have um, a number of uh, High Fidelity people that are now working for us or are back with us. Um, so, I mean, who's to know what's going to come up next on it? Um, right now, I know there's no plans, but who knows? Something might come up in the future. They might innovate in some way that you know, we didn't necessarily uh, plan for or know about right now, so who knows? Um, there's some good stuff in the pipeline. There will be more good stuff, I hope. Honestly, it was, um, it's, I was, the thing I'm most concerned about is more the issue of, well, you know those tricks that people can do to uh, lock themselves into a region after you boot them out, and they'll sit there yabbering into your, yabbering into your ear hole after you've banned them. That sort of stuff. Yeah, I hear you on that. I wonder if we could uh, restart a region if that would resolve that issue. Oh, it does, but yeah, that means restarting the region. You know, I'm sure we have a few ideas on what to release for uh, uh, Second Life University, which is still a really new program. But uh, since you guys are here, why don't you go ahead and just post what you would like to see as part of the university, and you know we can go ahead and relay that over. What you think would be beneficial to the masses? I'll go ahead and share here. We already have a number of tutorials available covering all, pretty much all facets of Second Life here. So if you go through this and you don't see something that uh, wasn't touched on yet, you say, you know, it'd be really cool if we touched on this for a little bit.
I haven't heard of that, Profsky. Yeah, I, I've not heard of, of where a resident would be able to rebuild one themselves. Perhaps if it's one that they had worked on originally that had been damaged, um, I could see them considering that. But most of the time, it's going to be malls. Yeah, and that would take us back to the uh, you know, designing the railway stations or uh, or uh, the old Oak Grove build or something like that. I might be discussing something like that, uh, Neo. We'll see. I agree, Neil. I mean, it's one of the things that got me initially into Second Life um, was just the, the power of that and being able to put together prims and put textures on them and add scripts to them and make them into something so much, you know, more than their parts. Um, just really, it's, it's, an exciting, it's an exciting part of Second Life. I'm a bit old school like that. I, I love doing that. We've got a few minutes left. If there's any other questions or comments, please feel free to jump on in. I'm getting all that noted, Sam. Thank you very much. These are wonderful ideas. Thank you, everyone, for uh, participating. And yes, Adam, um, we do, in fact, see um, the feedback that's given, uh, positive and negative. And um, we do also get some of the gifts that are uh, offered, uh, the gift cards, the uh, lunches, and so forth. So we do appreciate it. And, and yeah, for point of reference, I like them all. Um, you know, I, the gift card is very nice. Um, and but I don't mind a long lunch or some coffee now and again either. So I'm not picky on any of them. They're all nice. They're all wonderful. Uh, Miss Kieran, uh, to answer your question, uh, I would check to see which region you are in. Um, if you are in mainland, there is a limitation of plus four, uh, minus four meters, uh, which pretty much makes it uh, uneditable. Uh, but if you're in a private region, um, let's say maybe you have some ownership there, you should definitely be able to. But it really depends on where you are and um, what kind of uh, permissions are set.
And for the why on that, uh, actually the why on the ones that can't be edited, because there are some like um, Nautilus City, uh, Nova Albion, parts of Kama City, so forth, um, that, that can't be edited. Um, and that's because when those areas were set up, part of the theme of it was to keep it keep the ground flat or keep it level or keep the terrain as it is. Yeah, Bay City. Um, rather than... Um, you know, letting it be whatever height or depth or whatever. Uh, the same is true for why there's on most of the mainland. Some of the original regions are a bit higher, but uh, is a plus minus four. Um, again, was to keep some of the terrain similar how it is when it was created, whether it has hills or waterways or islands or other features, so that those don't get too badly distorted. I think Wendy just dropped the mic on us. <laughs> well, we have a few minutes left. Um, been a very I'm here. I teleported. It's okay. <laughs> Everyone stop talking about Wendy. Yes, a few minutes left. Uh, any questions, feel free to uh, ping them now or forever hold your peace until we see you next month. Or you can also reach us anytime. Premium clues. I think we're all waiting. But every time, right. I keep teleporting away because I lost my hair and, you know, I'm just embarrassed. So. You have a point, and we'll probably grow back with the same not amount of color as it has now. Neo, by all means, and this goes to everyone, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um, if you have questions, uh, you know, we do have the technical questions category for tickets. Uh, we are more than happy to help out. Um, and again, we're here every month, um, fourth Wednesday. So feel free to reach out to us. And we have governance persons sitting right over there. Oh, Come we did, probably. Four. Yeah. Front row, I might add. <laughs> Feel free to IM them any questions. Yeah, we've had a governance person attend, uh, I think, well, at least our last six meetings. Well, thanks, Samara, for attending Torque as always. We'll see you next month. Thanks for bringing the questions. Thank you for having us. Have a very good. We don't see you before I sell all doodah, will we? No problem. Good you'll, see us, you'll, you'll see us there, hopefully. And uh, we'll obviously yeah, we'll be there. Around that time. That's true. I must pop in. Actually, I think I'm exhibiting. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye bye for now. Take care. Send. Yeah. Um. There are.
some of the stuff that Proctus mentioned, and um, you know, also just uh, looking at um, uh, your area in wireframe mode, uh, which you can get to, well, I want to say from the develop menu, uh, possibly the advanced menu, but um, I'm blanking on it right now, sorry. But uh, that will give you an idea of if you see items that are um, like bright yellow or bright blue, completely solid, that will give you a really good idea that that mesh is incredibly dense and maybe not the best thing to have out. Any last comments before we head out? And yes, thank you, Neo. Control Shift R. I knew it, I was close. I didn't want to say the wrong one. Go for it, Adam. <laughs> Love this slightly disappointed. That's easy. That's actually where he is today, Adam. Moving cars. We attend a lot of events, uh, Adam. Um, I'm not sure of any restrictions on um, attending a resident party. Um, we're kind of careful as far as which ones we sponsor because uh, that goes through a different channel. Um, I think one of the best examples is Halloween um, when we do the, uh, the 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 concert crawls. Um, you'll see just gangs of Lindens going from place to place, having fun with um, all the uh, the party goers. So yeah, we do go out. We have fun with uh, the other residents. Yeah, if you're alluding to a party at your place, Adam, you can just go ahead and drop the slurl. <laughs> just kidding. I need to run off to another meeting. So thank you all. Have a thank great, you everyone. Uh, have a great rest of your month and beginning of next. We'll see you next time. Take care.